Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Chance Davis Road to the Show series, episode 38, and it is a big one. We have our MLB debut 37 episodes in the minors, and from now on, hopefully, we will be an MLB pitcher. Um, we are 74 overall. Our players looking MLB ready, uh, at least for his rookie season. Decent stamina, great hits per nine. Um, and really good velo, obviously, it's with some decent break. Uh, we're obviously going to get better, but Chance is going to get a start. He's not a long relief pitcher. We're a silver, um, we're a silver archetype, and we're moving on up to the gold archetype, of course, the big train, which gives us boosts in all three. At 37 right now, we're going to get two for that right here. Um, we need 25 more innings to get to. Uh, the last innings cap and seven more strikeouts to get to the second strikeouts uh, goal. Our strikeout tally has been reset, so we'll definitely get two today, uh, but I believe that'll be all we're going to get, and we'll reset that one. Uh, that won't get us the equipment or anything. There's nothing really useful here as we move up um, through that tree, but we have our, of course, diamond velo and our gold break helping us out today. Uh, let's add that second sleeve. We got some beautiful yellow cleats. So oh, comments, I forget, uh, changed the cleat color. I kind of like them. I, I like them at least. I don't know. Maybe you don't. Uh, but it is what it is. Our first game is against the D-backs here at home. I'm glad we get to pitch at home. We do get to pitch a night game. Um... And I'm happy it isn't against the Yankees. We start off the series versus Merrill Kelly and the Arizona Diamondbacks. We checked out our lineup in the last one. We'll do it one more time. Here's our rotation. Yarbrough, Bassett, or Yarbrough, Paxton, Bassett, Lazardo, and then Chance has the fifth spot with Manaya and James running the long relief roles. Workman and Jonathan Ch Cheshire working the middle relief. Setup men are J.B. Wendelkin, Wendelkin and Adam Kalerik. Kalerik has had... Um, Oh, wait, only six innings pitched. I'm thinking somebody else. And then Rosenthal closes things. A decent pitching staff could be better. Uh, hopefully we can have a good effect on that. Our lineup goes Matt Duffy, Corey Dickerson, Donovan Solano, then Matt Chapman, who's phenomenal, but he's been struggling, AJ Pollock, Max Kepler, Ramon Laureano, Seth Brown, and our catcher is Austin Allen. The team we're be, we'll be facing are the Diamondbacks, so let's check them out. Uh, we do not need to see their um, rotation. We need to see their lineup against us. It will be. Uh, we're at home, so there is a DH. David Peralta leading them off, and then Jake Hager. Corey Seager, okay. Cattell Marte, big lefty crusher there. CJ Crone also crushes lefties hitting in the five hole. Nick Ahmed, better lefty hitter. Jan Gomes, better lefty hitter. And Eduardo Escobar, uh, then followed by Josh Rojas. So you got a couple guys like Jan Gomes, Nick Ahmed, CJ Krohn, Cattell Marte, who hit much better off of uh, lefties than they do righties. We'll just have to take advantage of that, of the guys that don't, and um, see if we can have a good start today on our MLB debut. Without further ado, let's get into it. A rookie has a lot of expectations on them, and a lot of that comes from how they performed in the minors. You're Cliff Floyd. You know that. You know as well as anybody what you did in the minors when you get to the show. It's meaningless. Yeah, you can throw it in the trash. I'm telling you. It's just, <laughs> you know what? You learn at the AAA level, but when you get to the big leagues, um, they're going to watch tape and exploit every weakness you have. And if you don't make the adjustment, uh, nobody's going to feel sorry for you. I'll tell you that first and foremost. Uh, I had four homers my first year, and I thought, no way possible. But when you watch how pitchers pitch you consistently, uh, it lets you know you, you, you made it, but you better make some adjustments. Thank you, Cliff. But I'm hitting. I mean, I'm pitching. Uh, I'm not hitting. <laughs> but... Message still received. Fastball control, we could work up for a full two. I'm really thinking about that. Add a curveball, cutter, screwball, Vulcan change. I'm okay. Um, sinker velocity and K per nine? Nah. Durability. Ooh, durability and stamina. <sighs> I think this is going to be the move here. 
good plus two to durability, and stamina is really close to its next uh, attribute point. What do we got? This team's pitchers are being challenged to Hits per nine. Performance gains activated. Here we go. Caleb Smith is on the mound for him. He's three and four with a four four eight ERA. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Their lineup looks very similar. Ours looks a little different, but for the most part, um, very similar. What uniforms are we wearing? Uh, yeah, I guess, I mean, can we just wear white? Let's do it. All right, Seth Brown, we already have a sort of uh, connection with, with a minus 1% confidence strain. Let's go. Oh, I forget this cutscene. The green looks good. And here we go. Opening day for chance, at least. Not really. We're about halfway through the season, and we are making our Major League debut. Now those are some good AAA stats. That's what we ended with right there. Oh man. Yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> Take it in, chance. Won't be another moment like this. We are put right into it. All right. Ready to Tim LaCastro will lead off the Diamondbacks. He will swing and foul off a sinker. <laughs> That's a big backstop back there. Pitch, Here's a chain, a change up. Ball Missed one. a little outside. And the Third in the AL West. Six games game over 500. Yeah, Performing a little above expectations. They scored a bunch of runs last game, and this team is flying high right now. This is a fight at the Going back. fastball up. And he fouled it off at 96. Temperature starting to drop as one two. Down 56 degrees here at first pitch. Here comes the one Change up one two. Fouled off. Try a slider, maybe. It usually doesn't work against righties, and it won't here. Not our best spot, either. He's early on everything, so we'll give him a change of bad pulse. And he fouled it off, so he's not letting us off easy here. Fastball up top. Get it up. And we do, and our first MLB batter will go down on strikes. That's what you like to see. The Castro can't catch up with the 98 mile per hour fastball. We'll take it. Hager steps into the box for his first at bat of the day. 94 inside. We control the sinker better than any other pitch, so we'll throw it one more time. This time for a strike. Fouled off. One on. Once again, early. About a change up if you were early. Nope. Not great control on chance yet. We will get there. 3 1. We'll go four seam up. Fouled off, foul. Wait, that makes no sense. Yes, of course it's fouled off, it's foul.
We'll try a change up 3-2. It's an off chance's foot. Hopefully he's fine. He turns, he fires, and he's safe at first. Is he okay? That would be a bad way to end our first start. And our yellow shoes have been struck by a ball. <laughs> But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. All right. I do, in fact, a need a thumbnail. That's not going to be it. Base hit up the middle. Corey Seager welcomes us to the MLB. Throw into third, and we've got corners. One down. Tell Marte is the best lefty hitter in this lineup. And we're not getting any help from the umpire. Let's take that and get a thumbnail. Alright, how do you zoom and all that stuff? All that nonsense. Uh, that's, that's it right there. Alright. Future land and editing. Uh, that's not a good pose, is it? Now that is better. Uh, what about that? Alright, you have plenty to choose from future Landon editing. Let's get back into this one. That's fouled off, okay. Got a thumbnail, though. 1-1. <laughs> one, one. That's, he went. Yes, he did. One, two. Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Strikeout would be great. He fouled it off. One, two slider. Low. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Change up. And fouled off. Can't put him away. Exactly the same way. Inside sinker. Fouled off way early. I mean, I can't imagine the changeup won't work here. 2-2, two, two, change. That's on the ground, and it'll get through, and that's a run. D-backs on the board first. We're still not close to out of this. CJ Crone hits lefties pretty hard. Outside. That is roped into left. Right at our guy. Thank the Lord. Two down. We're going to get hit hard. Let's not act like we're not. Ahmed hits one well, but it's out to left. Dickerson's there, and he's got it. One scores for Arizona, and they push us way over 20 pitches, but... Oh, that first inning's out of the way. We got a thumbnail, even. Let's move on. And we have a lead, thanks to Corey Dickerson's two-run bomb. We're going to face 7-8-9 for the D-backs. A little rattled. We put it down the middle. Super late, we'll go back to it again. And he crushes that one. I thought he just <laughs> pimped his bat, so I thought it might be gone. Loriano has it one down. Our home runs per nine is something that could really be worked on. I haven't given up one in a while, actually, but... It's one of our weaker stats. Throwing hard does not help it. They are crushing the ball right now. Foul. Eduardo hitting under the Mendoza line. He's got a 1-2 count. Good play by the ball boy over there. Good pulse for this fastball. Not going to get a swing. 2-2. Two, two. We'll go sinker running. It's not bad. Should be played by our shortstop. Who is that over there? Is that match happen? 
That is Matt Chapman playing shortstop for some reason. I'm not sure why Josh Rojas will step up lefty on lefty. That's a strike. Uh, I know I'm a rookie, but you could at least be nice. Okay, Blue. Listen, I don't have any problem with you. <laughs> we do not need those types of calls right now. Way on front of that one. I swear the umpires have gotten so much worse in this game. So early. Slider outside. Let's see if we can get that second strike out of the day. Not there. Up and in on him. 3 2. 2 down. You got a piece. Sinker, maybe? Pretty good pitch, but he fouled it off. Slider running once again. Good pitch, and we get our second strike out of the day there. We, re we maintain that lead here. Still up one going into the bottom of the second. Let's go, boys. Three up, three down there. Tim LaCastro will step up. That's roped and a bad way to start this inning. LaCastro can fly. That's going to be a triple, no doubt. Stand up triple for Tim LaCastro to start us here in the third. Not a bad pitch by any means. Jake Hager will step up. He's one for one. He'll foul it off. Fouled off. He's singled by hitting the ball off her ankle. He's the only run of the game. Slider. Into left. Base hit. Didn't get it down enough, and that's the second run of the day for the Diamondbacks. Seager had a single last time. Watch the sinker there. Okay, Blue, listen. You are really not helping. Fell off. Two two. Got to get out, and we strike out Seager. That's a big one there. Third K of the day. We've got him out here in the third. Inside sinker. Patel drives it. Speed out there on first. He's gonna come around and score with ease. I'm pretty sure. Can we get Cattell to stop at second? We will. And it's a one-out double for Cattell and an RBI. Manager comes out to check out on check up on us a little bit. CJ Krohn will step up. This is our 52nd pitch. It's a bad one. Fouled it off. Deep fly ball, left center. Dickerson's there, big time. Marte will move up. We have two down here. I thought C.J. Crone just, uh, I thought he just hit a deep fly. Nick Ahmed will take a strike on the inside. Well, six sinker, we need a strike here. Blue, listen, sir. I need that call. That is a strike and a half. One, two. Fastball. Fouled off at 99. Slider's been the strikeout pitch today. And he got a piece of that somehow. Fastball again. And we blow it by him. But 
the Diamondbacks continue to hit us. Oh, we'll get to throw the fourth most likely, but we trail now. Nothing going on for us there. A nine flat ERA. Need a good inning here. Not a good pitch to start him, but it's all right. Fouled off. This will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Get it up, chance. That's no, not very up, but he flies it out to straight away left. Dickerson's there. He's had a busy day today. He's going to have it for the first out of the fourth. So here's Eduardo Escobar. First pitch of the AB now. Eduardo. And fouled off. Fouled away. Oh, one to the switch hitting eight hole. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind one two. See how eight hole sounded now. <laughs> oh two, one down. Fastball up high. Dusted him off the plate that time. There's an app far inside. Well, that'll wake everyone one, two, one down. You buzz the tower like that, Just missed. Start a bit Ugh. Haven't gotten one on the edge yet. Not a single one. The two, two. two, two, one down. Hmm. Eduardo will face a 2-2 two, two changeup now. And he swings through it. So that's 5Ks or 6Ks. It is 5. Okay. We're striking out a fair share of batters, but we've given up our fair share of runs. 900 Josh Rojas steps up. Too far inside. This is pitch number 70 incoming. It's outside. 2-0 and I don't want to go mm. bad news 3-0 don't want to come back to Tim LaCastro leading off let's throw a strike here there it is 3-1 to Rojas and we get him to pop it up are you there? Chapman is there. So Chapman is playing third. I was wondering what was going on. Um, that's it for the fourth. We are still down one, but Pollock is next up, and he's been hitting well all season. Flies out. Kepler single and a double. Scores Kepler. All tied at three. Tim LaCastro will step up. We need to retire him. Starting with the changeup. Sinker bad spot played by the Gold Glover Chapman, and he'll throw out the speedy LaCastro. One down. All good. Right now. If we can get through this inning, it'll make for a formidable first or MLB debut. Three earned runs through five isn't awful. Flown out, Dickerson will get there. Two down. Ball's roped. Luckily, Dickerson was out there, and they'll let us pitch against the lefty Seeger here. Swings through the sinker. Good pulse here. And Seeger will foul it off. We struck him out last time with the slider, a low one. Let's push one outside. See what he does. And he swings through at 6Ks on the day for chance. Can we throw a sixth, maybe? Come on, Skip. Let me do it. I can do it, Coach. Trust me. <laughs> Good pitch there, really good inning. And we do not get to 
It's a no decision for Chance in his first game. And Josh James comes in and gets wrecked. Chapman goes deep and we tie it back up. James still in the game. Brandon Workman comes in and gives up two. And they're up by two heading into the bottom of the eighth. Into the ninth down by two still. And we will ooh, not get the win here today. The Diamondbacks will get the win in Chance's debut. It's all right. It's all right. Get the jitters out. It was a decent start. No win, no loss. And overall, it's Josh James who lost it for our team. Which, uh, we don't usually like looking at that, but that's what happened today. Five innings pitched, six hits, no walks, and three earned runs. Six Ks on the day. Looking pretty good there. Cattell Marte was three for five and had two RBIs, of course. Corey Dickerson had the two-run shot. Uh, Matt Chapman had a homer, too. Uh, but Josh James kind of threw that one in the trash. So, we'll end up getting this loss today. It's not a huge deal, uh, but it, the loss does not go on Chance's card. We're closer to this 10 strikeouts now. We are at 39 out of the 100, as you can see that by the program completion. And we're one strikeout away from, a, I think, an extra 7. Uh, and 20 innings away from an extra 5. So, we've got a good amount of grinding to do to get to the gold. Um, but we'll be there soon, of course. What do we have? Some milestones. First MLB appearance, first MLB start, and the first MLB strikeout. What do we have? Stamina is up to 37. Always nice to see. Clutch regress, not good. Uh, change up break also increases to 40. We're making our progress on each one of these. A lot more to be made, but oh, we got it out of the way. And uh, from now on out, it's time to be one of the greatest to ever do it. Uh, we are now 40 and 35, and that's one and a half games out of the wild card. We're not catching the Astros, um, but we could possibly get a wild card, most likely over the Indians. Uh, but we do face the Angels a good bit in the season, so we'll see. How is our guys over elsewhere doing? Cam, still under 100 at bats. I don't get that. Adam getting it going? Eh, kind of. 264, 8 homers, 26 RBIs, 15 stolen bases, um, and a what OPS? 763. So better than last year. Hitting for a little bit more pop, I guess. Less triples, but more pop in general. And uh, not stealing quite as many bases, but it is what it is. Is he gold gloving still? Kind of. He's made an air. How about Max? 10 and 3 now. Okay, he's not doing as well. 110 strikeouts and 101 and 2 thirds innings with a 212 ERA. Who do we have next? It will be into July, and we will face off against the Rays in the opening game of that series in Tropicana. Uh, right now, we have a 5-4 ERA and 6 strikeouts in 5 innings with a 1.2 whip. It'll, it'll improve, maybe. I don't know. Uh, the Diamondbacks aren't even that good of a team. Uh, and the Tampa Bay Rays really aren't either. So those are a couple good teams to get introduced in on. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot to be done here. I'm excited. That's Chance Davis, episode 38.